This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing here. All right. So we are on milestone four, user story. If I like a bird, I want to be able to save it into a list of favorites so that I remember it. A top three would be a nice thing to have. All right. So what they're wanting us to do is, well, add a bird to favorites. So we're going to use append item. And append is a fancy way to saying add something to the end of a list. Let me go ahead and confirm our current functionality. So I have wood duck for starters, blah, 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 blah. And now if I want to add a favorite, well, it says I've added one, but notice nothing occurs down here. And I bet, let's hit reset if I hover, this is called favorites. So let's take a look at where milestone is right here. Okay, so upon the click of the favorite button, this code will run. And they want an append item. So where would we append it to? It looks like we already have a list here called favorites, which is great. We're going to want to use that. Uh, let me see if I can find a pinned. Aha. So in on event favorite button. So on the event that the favorite button is clicked, we're going to append here. I'm going to have to write my list name and spelling matters. Be careful with capitalizations and lowercase and yada, yada, yada. Favorites. Now, what am I appending though? I'm not just going to append the letter F. I mean, I could, this would work, right? So now I'm going to hit favorite. Ta-da! I have the letter F appended. But that's not what we're looking for. We want the name of our current bird. Well, how do we know what that is? Let's see where we set that. Right here. Set text name index. Because remember, our names is a list of bird names. We're grabbing that from our data set way over here. This whole list. And then the index is the current number we are on. So I started mine at 96 right now. I can change this to uh, zero to be at the front of the list, right? Because indexes start at zero. And so name zero would give me the American goldfinch. Name one will give me the next item in the list. So that's what we're going to use also for favorites. I got to go over to ooh, variables again, and I'm going to grab this. And just drop it in. Oh, is it not going to let me? Let me kill this off. Oh, and I need the list. I might be why. Okay, names and then whatever index we're currently on. And thankfully, we're already saving that up here, right? We're manipulating the index up and down already. So we can have that here. Let's go ahead and take a look. Click. And then next, next. Click. That is looking good. All right, let's see what else. Uh, Hide the favorite button if the length of favorites is greater than three. Okay, so that's going to be down in the update favorites function. So this right here is a command. It's telling the computer, hey, you computer, go find whatever updates favorites is and execute it. And the computer goes, okay, updates favorites, smack, because this is, well, update favorites. And it's going to go ahead and execute this code. Ah. And so right now we have a condition in our if statement. So if true, this is always true, right? And so if it is true, always then in an if else statement, this first thing runs and this would never ever run. Only if this is false with this bottom part run. And just to show you what I mean here, I can also just set it to false manually. And there would go, oh, I have to save something first, I think. And our favorite button disappears. So we want to actually check. And what they're asking us to check is if our favorites button, uh, if our favorites list is full, when is it full? Well, if favorites, ooh, actually, let's do this. We're going to do if, uh, if favorites dot length is greater than or equal to three, right? Because at that point, if it's greater than or equal to three, we can no longer add to favorites. So let's hit run one. Oh, I got to flip this logic because when it's false, so as long as favorites is less than three, we want to show the button. Let's try that out. Boop, boop, boop. I don't know why I'm doing boop, boop sounds. Ta-da! And there we go. Onward. 